Hello everyone, welcome to my guide on the Spear of Heaven. So when you're going to be doing the Spear of Heaven, the first thing you're going to meet is a set of different um, robotic enemies. So first I have the Mimir Z200 here on the left as you can see. But they're way more around this area. Let me just kind of try to show you. See there's another one over here. And I think there's one more further in the back. So there's quite a few of them. And um, you want to start with them mainly because you don't really need any like... You're only going to need your Circuit Breaker ability for them. And you might need two depends on how quickly you can kill them. Because they have a lot of HP and a lot of armor. And you're going to have to kill them with their silent weapons. So you want to start with them for the reason that if you happen to need to use all of your circuit breaker abilities then you're going to need to fight a different group of enemies preferably organic enemies and then you can come back to a different mimir z200 and kill him with your abilities so what do we have here uh, well on feral and ducks i'm going to take the circuit breaker ability because i might need to disable them twice and on borman i gave him the ancient pistol weapon which now has 50 percent chance to disable robotic enemies it's going to make this fight significantly easier. You can always equip some EMPs as backup. I'm not doing that because it's not going to be necessary. Because we have the two circuit breakers. But if you don't want to use... Uh, if you only want to use a Pharaoh or Dex, not both of them, you can potentially use some EMP grenades for backup. And I've also generally changed my weapons that I have done... Even mostly the updates for like increasing crit chance and chances to burn enemies or disabling enemies to my silent weapons. And instead of the other ones and increasing crit chance and stuff like that and stuff that increases weapon range I've given to other, other um, loud weapons. You might be thinking what is this? DJR666. This is a weapon that you can buy at Iridia shops once you reach level 50. From the moment you buy it, it's immediately upgraded to the highest level. This is a very good weapon, does 13 damage, 15% crit uh, damage, very high crit chance, 24%. However, there is one huge drawback to this weapon and that's the ammo. It only has one ammo, which means whoever you're going to be playing with, once they shoot, they will not be able to move because uh, they will need to reload every time. So then they cannot do moving and shooting at the same time unless they have a run and gun. So um, I currently have it because it has a high range and I don't usually need to move that much around in a fight. But if your uh, fighting tactics depend on moving around a lot, you don't want to buy this weapon. It's not necessary. Okay, so enough talking. Let's start fighting. So uh, we're going to start to ambush this Mimir Z200. And first up, you want to go with Borman because Borman has that weapon that allows me to disable robotic enemies. So I'm going to move him here. And shoot at him. And if he's incapable of disabling them, then we'll use the circuit breakers. Okay, but he disabled the Mimir, so we don't need to use the circuit breaker on Pharaoh or Selma. I'm the hero, you're the zero. Now, there's one thing you gotta be careful about with this Mimir is that when you kill them, they will actually blow up. So, where Borman is currently standing, it's a little too close. So you want to make sure that during the last uh, turn when you will be killing them, you want to kind of take a step back and make sure that all of your people are far away. So this is really important in this fight, otherwise you can get hurt quite a bit. So we know that Zero will not finish him off. Now, Borman was able to again disable the Mimir, so we don't actually need to use the Circuit Breaker with Pharaoh, which is fantastic for us. If you need to use Dex and Pharaoh in this fight, for example, if, if uh, Borman isn't quite uh, doing it for you, then uh, don't be afraid to do that and then just move to fight some group of organic enemies. I will show you the fight when I get to that. And then uh, come back. Now after I do this, if I get a crit chance, there's a slight chance that I might uh, kill the Mimir. So I want to move Borman back first. And you might notice a problem now, right? We moved Borman, so Borman cannot shoot, which is obviously a big problem. But we don't have to worry about that because the Mimir is disabled for one more turn. So even if you don't kill him this turn, we're fine with that. So Dax didn't get the crit chance, so we're gonna have to kill him next turn, but that's okay for us. We can finish it off with Dax again. It'll blow up, but we're all far enough. But you can see that this place that was next to Borman, it kinda got destroyed. 
So really got to be careful about that. Now we didn't need to use any of our circuit breaker abilities, so we can just go straight up to the next uh, Mimir Z200. Uh, now something that you can do if you'd like is you can move Pharaoh behind this spot because then she's going to be hidden when we're fighting the Mimir and she has a better crit chance. I think it's cool, but always remember to start with Borman or whoever your person with the weapon that has chains disabling enemies is. And again, we managed to disable him, that's fantastic. Then we're gonna just continue with the regular you know shot. Yes. Nice, and we get a see, and this is why we get a crit chance, critical hit with her because she was hidden, and that's really good for us, so that's what we want to do. Oh, oh, and we get a crit chance with Dex as well, which is fantastic. Uh, again, we're just gonna continue. Oh, I have used uh, Dax first, but I should have used Borman because I needed to see if we need to use the circuit breaker or not. We don't again because, as usual, Borman stepped up for us. And we're gonna continue. Okay, and again, next time, gotta make sure that everybody's far, far enough away. If you're always far enough, I think Borman's gonna need to take a step back. Now again, he cannot shoot at this point, but that should be fine because he's disabled for one more turn. But I don't think even if he wasn't, I think we can just kill him off with Duck, so it's not a big deal. But watch out for that. Shoot. They blew up, we were all far enough, that's fine. Again, we didn't need to use our ability so we can follow up for the third Mimir. And just like before, I'm going to make sure that I hide Pharaoh behind this tree. And with everybody else, we'll just play an attack. It's not a big deal. Start with Borman. Donut. Disabling. Perfect. Uh, continue with Pharaoh. We have a 100% crit chance. Right. Great. Finish it off with Dax. And this is like, it's the same thing for every enemy, but it's important. Uh, again, don't forget to always start with Borman. And then continue with your... Alright, Borman actually did manage to disable the Mimir Z200 this time, so that's gonna be a little bit more interesting because then during the next turn we're gonna have to use the Circuit Breaker because during this turn the Mimir would... Um, if we hit him with everybody, we probably will be able to kill him, I think. Let me check it out. Yeah, we do 3 damage with each person. The problem is I'm not 100% certain whether Borman is far enough. So I'm gonna be using the Circuit Breaker ability just to be sure. So I'm gonna move Borman back and reload with him. He's not gonna shoot. And then I'm gonna use the Circuit Breaker with a Pharaoh. Okay, I need to disable him for a few more turns so we're fine now. It's possible that Borman was close enough. I'm honestly not 100% certain, so I prefer to take a few more steps back. And we don't really have to worry about using the circuit breaker, it's perfectly fine. Okay, blew up, that's fine. Let me check if there are any more Mimirs around here. Follow me. One more. I think there's only three of them. Okay, we have finished off the Mimirs, there are only three of them. Then we're gonna follow up this way and we're gonna meet quite a few uh, enemies. Oh, and if you don't know, I also have a Let's Play. Where I not only like show you the story of the game and the humor of the game and stuff like that, but I also try to explain different tricks that maybe don't quite make it into the guide. Okay, so as you keep moving straight, the first enemy you'll meet is this sect hunter. Don't kill him just yet because you're gonna need a moment to revive some of your abilities, and because he's moving back and forth, you can easily hide Pharaoh, for example, here, and then kill him off with uh, her hidden person crit chance because she will be hidden. So you don't actually need to use any ability, so you want to leave him uh, for reviving. Now here I'm going to meet a 2 sec pyros. Let me just run around and I can show you a bit better. Here, 2 sec pyros, and then on top of the building is a hunter. You can see him over there. Now you want to kill that hunter first, because once you can get on the high ground, you're going to have a very nice chances to kill those 2 sec pyros again, without using many of your abilities. So first up, you're going to run around these guys up to this flag pole, flag thingy, 
and you're gonna wait till the sec tire goes away again and then you can see a ladder like um, right now the ladder is like straight ahead I'm gonna run to there once the sec tire moves away you want to be careful when you're climbing the ladder that the hunter is not gonna see you because right now he's standing right there so we cannot climb just yet so you gotta wait till he moves away then you can climb up and then you need to hide your people there to be able to shoot him So he's moving away now you have to hurry up a little bit because the pyro is going to be coming back soon so you want to make sure that you're up there so let's climb up and uh, we're gonna everybody else is gonna fall and we're gonna hide um ducks maybe there then you can use uh, pharaoh and she needs to hide behind this so she's well hidden and then Boromin can just uh, I don't know, he can just hide there, for example. Now, the important person here is Pharaoh. However, this fight does not need to be done without any abilities. Because, like I said, with this high position, we will be able to kill those sect pyros without using any of our abilities, just with Pharaoh. So, for this fight, you can actually use, uh, for example, Borman's three shot ability. Because you're going to kill the second and those two pyros, so you're going to have... Um, revived it by the time we fight some other enemy so i'm actually gonna do it just to show you it's not completely necessary because if you look at a uh, pharaoh she has a hundred percent shot and a hundred percent crit chance so she will do the damage of 10 and the two boys will do damage of seven so the said so that's 24 but i want to show you anyway in case you for example don't have such a good crit chance with pharaoh or you're having trouble with something so let me just use the twitch shot just to kind of show you that it will revive in time if we did a lot of damage, then we're going to use a Dax to shoot. Yeah, I did that. Oh, and Dax is got a critical hit as well, which is great for us. And then Pharaoh's going to finish Stay it off with her pistol. It's got a critical it's chance as well. It. Now, next up, you're going to be fighting those Spyros, and this is really important. Now, here, we're going to need uh, the Pharaoh's 100% um, crit chance. You can also get. Uh, Selma because Selma has a... Um, let me actually switch Dax for Selma. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna give Dax the Rambino for example. Switch him for Selma and give Selma the... Maybe I need a pistol. Now Selma has a mutation. Uh, let me equip it. Uh, Alpine is 50% critical chance when shooting from high ground. I think Dax has it too but I prefer using Selma. And she also has the Twitch shot which is a nice backup in case um, something doesn't quite work out the way you need it also you could remove the helm and take uh, the aristo head which increases the um, great chance from high ground which i currently have equipped on magnus i'm not going to do it because it's not necessary all i need is pharaoh but if um, you feel like that would help you you can always do that so uh, we have hidden um selma okay and, and borman now the sex oh uh, Currently, the two sec pyros are probably too close. Now, the, the, their areas are not quite intersecting, but it's still a risk. For example, if you kill the sec pyro down there, you might knock him back and then we get him into the area of the second one. But we can attack now. Let's do it. So what you're going to need here, here is the 100% crit chance from Pharaoh, which we have, as you can see. So we can just shoot. We can do 10 damage. And as... And, See, this is like what I was talking about, the knockback. This would be a big problem if the other sec pyro was standing too close. Next up with Selma, you can see we have a 90% crit chance, which is fantastic. It's because of the alpinist and of the fact that she's hidden and on a high ground. But it's not necessary, because we already have Feral. Now he blows up, that's perfectly fine for us. And then you're going to take all of your people and move them around. Because Pharaoh is the only one essential for this fight, if you need to revive abilities on somebody, you can get that person. So for us, that's currently Boromin, but for example, you could also take like Magnus or something. Now remember that Boromin is not the one who needs to be hidden, so I can actually move him like to about there. Let's split up. And then we're going to use Pharaoh to hide. I'm going to wait till the sick Pharaoh comes back so that we can get a really good shot. Okay, the sick pyro is coming back, so let's just wait till he is in a really good position for us to shoot him. I think around now should be okay. Let's see what kind of shots we get. What about Selma? 100% shots with a 100% crit chance, that's all we need. Perfect. She knocked him back, which is actually not so good for us, because 
He's a little bit further for the other people, but we still have a 100% chance, so that's great. Borman can finish him off. Now at this point, we got the Twitch chat ability on Borman back. But like I said, it wasn't necessary to use it in the first place, so you could have gotten it uh, much sooner. Now, normally what you would do at this point is you would... Um, Kind of go around the cathedral and fight other enemies because this sect hunter and the Cardinal Henson, those two men, they're kind of like the bigger enemies in this one. However, you don't need to do this in this particular playthrough, which I think is really fun. You can actually attack them right now. And why is that? Well, because the position where Pharaoh and Selma are right now is actually considered far enough from all the other enemies that even if you loot, use allowed weapons, you will be able to do it without alerting anybody else. However, you cannot ambush from here. So you're going to need to move at least one of your people closer. It's going to be Bormin in my case. And Bormin is uh, too close to other enemies that are like outside of the cathedral. So with Bormin, you actually do need to only use silent weapons, which I find really interesting. So what kind of abilities do we need to have? So on Bormin, first off, we're going to get Hogrash and Run and Gun. And we're going to have the Ancient Pistol, which is the weapon we're going to be using with him. On Selma, I'm going to give her a Rambino. And I'm going to give her the weapon that uh, Pharaoh has, the GJR666, because the GJR666 only has a weapon, uh, sorry, only has a one ammo. So we cannot use it for the Gunslinger ability. So that's why I'm going to give it to Selma. And then Pharaoh is going to take a Rambino from Dax, I think. Yes. We're going to give that to her. Let me give Dax just some random weapon. And she can take it um, and use it instead. Now also, one more point is I'm going to give Selma... Selma has a Rambino and the GJR. So I'm going to give Pharaoh, aside from the Rambino, I'll also give her... Um, no, actually, wait. Selma... She has the GJR instead of the Rambino. I'm gonna give her. Uh, I'm gonna give her Elysium, which I currently have on Magnus, because Elysium has a. It doesn't have as good of a range as the Rambino, but it does a better damage. So that's so she's gonna have Elysium, GJR. Pharaoh has Crossbow, Rambino, and Borman has Ancient Pistol. And abilities wise, you need to have Hogrash, Run and Gun on Borman. On some, I'm gonna take the. Witch out and the Alpinist, and on Pharaoh you would like to have uh, the Gunslinger ability. Also, what you could do is if you have something that increases your weapon range, you can give it to. Ah, nothing. Never mind. Okay, so uh, no, I hate when this happens. I always forget to split up my people. I really hate that. Okay, uh, girl. So I'm gonna move the girls back up again. Uh, let me fast forward that for you. So next up, you're gonna ambush with Borman. Now we're gonna start with Pharaoh, and we're gonna use her gun slinger ability. You gotta switch to the Rambina. And. Uh, gonna have a 75% chance and a 50% chance which is not the best but it's still there's like a chance to shoot two enemies which is really nice okay, we only managed to hit the second so that's perfectly okay next up you're gonna use Selma and Selma has a 75% chance on the second hunter with the Elysium but she has a 100% shot with the GJR 666 so that's why we're gonna use her to shoot nice and we kill them all now Borman He's the one that has to take care of Cardinal Arson. So what he's going to do is he's going to use Run and Gun. And then he's going to Hog Rush Cardinal Hansen. Now, surprisingly, this Hog Rushing thing didn't actually alert anybody. Now, remember that with Borman you have to use silent weapons. Because had we used allowed weapons now, we would have been in trouble. So remember that. Now, we're just going to keep uh, shooting with Borman. Nothing really special about that. The girls are the one who do a lot of damage. Now let me look at Pharaoh. Pharaoh has a 75% chance of a shot. So we're going to use that. And we got a critical heart, which is perfect. And then we are going to look at the options with the Elysium. 
is out of range. So we definitely have to reload for the GJR with Selma. And we're going to shoot and we have a 75% chance and a 70% chance of a crit chance. So we should be able to kill him this turn if we get a crit chance, which we did and he's dead. If you don't get good enough crit chances, don't worry, you have one more turn. Just remember that in this particular playthrough, the girls are the one doing the damage. Worman's just kind of there to hog rush the enemy and to he's shooting him with his silent weapon, which doesn't really do much. But yeah, this is how, how you kill these guys. Now, these are not the only enemies on the map, but you can kill him them fairly quickly, which I think is pretty cool. Let me check out to what is in this chest, just in case you want to use it later. Increases grenade damage by two. Wow, I wish we had that in the Castle of Light. That would have made everything so much easier. I mean, guys. Okay, so let's continue. There are more enemies here. The next good enemy to fight is that hunter that we skipped earlier, because as you can see, we have used a lot of abilities, so we would like to revive them. So let me first make sure that I get my sound weapons back on my people. So I'm going to give the Mimmer Needle Pistol to Selma. A Pharaoh has the crossbow and Borman has the Ancient Pistol, which is perfect. And you want to make sure that you can hide a Pharaoh somewhere in a good position. So let's place Selma there. Over here. Um, I have to run there again. My mistake. Let's, let's look at it. Does she have a good shot? Yeah, 100% crit chance. That should be fine. Yeah, that's great. And with everybody else, we can just move closer, so it's fine. Roman should have a good shot, actually. Yeah, but someone's gonna need to move closer, which is fine. Yeah, 75% chances of okay. Nice. So we kill them off, and that helps us revive some of our abilities a little bit. And next up, we have a butcher here. Uh, yeah, somewhere in this direction. He's moving back and forth, just like the hunter. So, oh yeah, here. Um, just fight him off normally. You only need two people with your sound weapon, so that's fine. We'll move him to over there, or Salma, and just shoot him off. And you want to use this so that you can revive the abilities that he needed to use. So the hog rash and the gunslinger and stuff like that. Okay, Pharaoh can finish him off. Give up now and I'll go easy on ya. And I think at this point we should have all of our abilities revived. Yes. So again, at this point, because we did that, we don't want to fight lonely enemies. Instead, we're going to try to fight... See, so that's like Butcher over there. We'll leave him for later. Let me see where we can have another group of enemies that we could fight. So let me prep for that. And once I find somebody, I'll uh, tell you how we're going to kill them. Now, we found this sec hunter. The problem with him is a little bit the fact that you don't have the best position to like hide your people. So we're going to use a uh, twitch shot on him. Probably twitch shot on Selma, I'm thinking. Yeah. So let's just go a bit closer, ambush. First of all, we're going to see what kind of crit chances we have. Oh, Selma still has a 100% crit chance because he hasn't seen her yet. Okay, so well, then we don't need it. That's fine. I wasn't sure if she would because she wasn't exactly hidden, but it's fine. Okay. Kill them all. You finally figured out how to use that thing. Yeah, I finally figured out how to use that thing, Vermin. Yep. And again, let me find more enemies. Now we have the Mimo Z six hundred here, and a close to him should be a tank. Uh, somewhere nearby. I see a sect hunter here. Uh, you... You can kill the sect hunter without alerting the Mimir. And you could kill the Mimir without alerting the sect hunter if you use... Um, if you use EMP grenades or circuit breakers. You know what? Let's do it. Let's, let's use the circuit breakers for this one. I'm gonna hide Pharaoh... So let me first hide uh, Pharaoh there, and we're going to switch Selma for ducks, because we need that Circuit Breaker backup ability. So let me switch her back to ducks. And on ducks, we're going to get that Mimmer Needle Pistol. And we need to have the Circuit Breaker on ducks and just as much on Selma. 
And then just like with the other mimers, oh and let me hide ducks, what you're gonna do is you are going to start with Vorman, move him to, you don't want to move him too close because this mimer also blows up. So I think I'm gonna stick to about this position. Eventually I'm gonna have to move uh, Bor uh, Dex and Pharaoh a little bit back as well. Okay, and we managed to disable him, which is fantastic. So we can just shoot up with everybody else. And even though he looks really big, he has the same HP and the same armor as um, the smaller members, the Z200. So we don't have to worry about that too much. Let's start with Borman as usual. Okay, disable for two more turns. Perfect. Reload with Vera. From me. Does that hurt? And during the last turn, we would like Borman to be the last to to shoot, so that you can move your other guys away. Yeah. Now we, we are not gonna kill him just yet, so we can keep shooting, which is good. For us. Ooh, unless Pharaoh gets a great chance. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's um, go into Overwatch with her. You want to make sure that we don't accidentally kill him too soon. So let's move Dax. Uh, let's move Pharaoh back to about there. And we're going to move Dax back to about there. And then we're going to shoot with Ducks, for example. I did that. What do you think about that, huh? And finish him off with Borman. <laughs> so even you can hurt on Borman. Oh, you have full HP. So even though he blows up, it still uh, doesn't alert the other guy, so you're, oh, we get 38 weapon parts, get your so we don't have to worry about that. Next up is this Hunter. Uh, because we didn't really need to use the circuit breaker, I'm just gonna again leave him for a little bit later, and we're gonna fight this tank first. So thankfully the tank is far enough from the Hunter, so you can kill him silently. Now remember, tanks, they cannot be hog rushed. So... What you're gonna need is loud weapons to kill him off. Oh, actually. Yeah, we're gonna use loud weapons to kill them off, which means we have to kill the tank, this hunter first, then we're gonna leave uh, the tank for later. Uh, let me, uh, as usual, prep uh, Pharaoh so that she can be hidden and get a good shot. And I think I'm gonna switch uh, Dax back to Salma because with Salma we get that Twitch shot and we might need that for this one. So I wanna make sure that I have that option if necessary. Uh, ambush. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but we got lucky. Okay, Pharaoh, what kind of shot do you have? 75% chance with 100%, that's okay. Should be good enough, perfect. And Borman, what's your shot? Ah, I think we'll move him closer. About there. Oh, is it Selma? Uh, made a mistake, but it's okay. And then we'll finish him off with Borman. Go to there. Come on. Yeah. Now you cannot quite fight this tank yet because there are two more enemies on this side. There is a butcher and a hunter. There is a sec butcher and a hunter over there. You can kill the hunter if you have moved to, to this uh, higher ground. If you have moved to the, to the building on the left on the high ground, probably do it with hidden feral without using any of your abilities. I'm going to do it with a twitch shot because I again want to show you that we're going to be capable of reviving it in time. So. So that's another option. Use three shot on the second hunter, then kill this butcher and that one butcher over there that we kind of left alive so far. And then you're gonna have the three shot back for the big tank fight coming soon. Uh, I think I can hide Selma maybe there, just until the second hunter moves. He moves back and forth over there, and then he moves towards us.
make sure that the hunter is outside of the range of the butcher which he is now and make sure that there's a bit of space because we have a lot of weapons that knock back enemies like uh, i think the crossbow for example yeah so we want to make sure that we don't accidentally get him back now pharaoh didn't actually get a good crit chance because the hunter turned towards us so we're gonna need to use that twitcher that we were talking about so let's first move her closer to there where she has a hundred percent shot from and she's gonna use the twitch shot okay and then borman is going to just finish him off Now that we finished the fight, we only have uh, we need to kill more to people, two pe more people to be able to use the twitch shot. So let me kill this sec butcher first. Just use two of your people to kill him off. And then we're gonna use a Salma there to finish him off as well. Bye. Call me. You finally figured out how to use that thing. Now you can run to that butcher to get a twitch shot on Salma, but the thing is we don't actually need two twitch shots to fight this enemy. We only need one, if any, So, because we can use loud weapons. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to fight this tank first, and then we're going to fight that butcher so that whatever area we have next, we have a, a chance to kind of revive our abilities a little bit quicker. Let me move um, Salma to there, and then we're going to take Pharaoh and move her to here. And then I'm going to tell you what weapons we're going to be using because the weapon choice is, is really important. So what we have at the moment, we have the Boomstick, we have the GJR, and we have Pharaoh. So this does 9 damage. Pharaoh's going to be no. This does 9 damage. Plus 13 is 22. Plus 10 is 32. So that sounds good. But we have to remember that he has an armor of 2 for each shot. So that's essentially an armor of 6. So 32 minus 6 is not 30. 30 is what is HP. So that's what we need. So we're going to switch with the weapon on Pharaoh. We're going to give her the Elysium. With the Elysium, we have 12, plus 13, that's 25, plus 10 is 35, minus 6 is just not enough by 1. So what you're going to need to do is, you either need to utilize Pharaoh's crit shot, crit shot, crit chance, or you're going to need to use the twitch shot on Borman. We're going to try to do it just by using Pharaoh. If we can make it work, that's why we have Borman's uh, twitch shot as a backup. So we're going to start with Selma. Because with the GJR, she should have 100% so we're gonna start, And she has a 35 chance of a crit chance. So just in case she gets that crit chance, it would be great for us. So uh, remember to switch towards the GJR. You have a 100% chance and a 35% chance of a crit chance. Let's do it. Oh, and we got a crit chance, which is perfect. Which means now we don't actually care about whether Pharaoh gets a crit chance or not. I'm going to switch with her to the Elysium. You have a 75% chance and a 100% crit chance. We're going to do that. Nice, and we get a crit chance here as well. And then we're gonna use Borman to finish him off. I'm gonna move him closer so that I can get a hundred percent shot. And because we got that crit chance with Selma, you could have moved a Pharaoh closer as well to be certain. But seventy-five percent is good in most cases. Okay, we can get the loot, and then we're gonna follow up by killing that lonely butcher that kind of left alone there. And the advantage of this is that uh, if we had to use the twitch shot, for example, for this fight. And by killing this one butcher last, we only need to kill one more enemy to revive this ability for ourselves, which is really good. Yeah. So you can just ambush from wherever, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, use the silent weapon. Not that it matters, I think we kill everybody on the map, but just in case, it's better to. Better safe than sorry. Okay, this is how it's done. So what what's important here is first of all you want to kill all the robots and you want to make sure if you need to revive some of your abilities then focus on killing the organic enemies and then come back to the robots later. Now then you want to fight the Cardinal Hansen with the sect hunter now what's important there is that you want to keep the girls up on top i think you can switch selma for ducks he should have a very high crit chances from a high ground as well so if you want to do that 
I just like to use Sona. Uh, and the Pharaoh is the important one because she can get a very high crit chance and she can do a lot of damage there. And you want to make sure that you give her a weapon on which you can use the Gunslinger. And then Wormwind's going to use his Hogrush ability to to stop the Cardinal Henson and then the girls are essentially going to be shooting him until he's dead. Mormon is only allowed to use silent weapons, so he's not going to do nearly as much damage. Now when you're fighting, then you want to fight the Mimir with the Hunter. There, just make sure that you um, use your silent weapons and uh, the appropriate stuff for each one. So for the Mimir, you want to use the Circuit Breakers, and for the Hunters, you want to use either Pharaoh's Abilities or Witch Shots. And then leave the lonely butchers and other enemies that you can kill without any extra abilities for last. Because you can always use them if you need to revive this or that ability. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, write it down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next area.